Hi, I'm Phil, and uh, we'll continue uh, with my projects using the Seed Studio Grow Vision AI version 2. And I've been working uh, on traffic projects. Uh, the first one was on traffic signals and giving pedestrians some priority. The next one we're going to look at is counting cars. And uh, let's go through the uh, details on this project. We might actually have a look at what it looks like on the desktop. So we got, this time we're going to change the hardware. We're still going to use the same computer, but it's going to go on a different um, board. It's going to plug into the um, Shoal um, board called the um, expansion board, and it has four Grove connections, a little less than the previous one, but it does have other peripherals like the uh, um, display, and it's much easier to use compared to the four-digit display that I used previously. And I've got a different case for my um, Raspberry Pi camera, which is on the top. And we're going to point that camera to scenes of traffic and count them. So let's have a look at the objectives. We want to get some more experience with the Grow Vision AI version 2. We're going to count cars passing a virtual loop. And... Uh, we're going to use the smart camera, which is the Raspberry Pi and Grow Vision combination to identify cars in a box. And we'll display that on the, um, that is the count will be displayed on the Shao expansion OLI display. And we'll also output that to the serial port. So the prerequisites are to have the correct firmware loaded, and that firmware comes from the um, deployment tool from Seed Studio. It's called SenseCraft. And the one that I'm looking at is this one, the traffic camnet detection. So we'll be looking at that, and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. And all we have to do here is just upload that to our um, Grow Vision AI. Other parts of it, uh, of the system, we're at, at the design for this one is very, very simple. We're only going to um, use one dimension, but the next version, uh, we could easily expand that to uh, two dimensions. So let's have a look at the hardware we're using. We're going to start off with the Shoal computer as we had last time. It's a low cost computer. And this time we're going to use the C Ciduno Shoal expansion board. And there are not many Grove connections, but I haven't got anything other than one Grove cable, which goes off to our Grove vision. And uh, th this is what it looks like. And what we might do is go across and uh, have a look at the construction of that. Okay, so we start off with our uh, Shoal ESP32 C3 computer. And uh, we're going to put that on a, uh, a base and connect it to a PC. So our PC is used for um, uploading the program to the shawl and um, also uh, being able to um, monitor the progress and uh, get the traffic count. So we add the um, expansion uh, board uh, for the shawl and it has an OLED display on it. And connected to the I2C port, we have the Grove Vision AI version 2, and then the uh, the camera. So this is our hardware uh, for the um, uh, project. So let's have a look at the software. Well, there's really two parts. Uh, there's the software for the uh, Shoal ESP32, and uh, we'll have a look at that um, on the Arduino IDE shortly. Just before we do that, we're going to have a look at the um, Grow Vision uh, software. So um, this is based on a previous model. Uh, so we're using a pre-trained model, um, and that model was previously done on the um, Nevada and using the uh, Toll uh, toolset with a quite a large um, data set. So there were about 3 million cars were involved in this. 
And if we look at the um, uh, number of objects, it's just it's more than cars. We can actually detect cars, uh, people, road signs, and um, two-wheeled vehicles like bicycles. And you can see the uh, construction of that. And on the Nevada, if you look at the Nano, Nevada Nano, uh, it was able to do about 17 inferences per second. So I think on our model, we'll actually won't do as good as that. Let's move across to the um, uh, Arduino IDE and have a look at the construction of the program. Remember, this is quite simple. It's um, only in one dimension. So um, we're using the dimensions X or loop, X minimum and X maximum as say, our coordinates for the loop. And um, if we take the uh, dimensions of the car or the location of the car, we have the X car begin and the X car end. And uh, these have to be inside the loop. And uh, if that happens and we get a transition um, from uh, no, nothing detected, nothing in the car to um, having something inside the loop, we count that as being one of the cars to our car count. Okay, so well, software is quite simple. Um, we're defining the, um, the variables over here and um, the loop occupied and the loop occupied previous are compared for our traffic count. So here's our um, variables for the loop, the uh, loop X min and the loop X max. And in setup, we're um, setting up to allow us to display the count number on our shawl um, OLED. And uh, we have um, the car count display and it also uh, sends the car count to the serial port. So we have one um, function for checking the AI and the if the inference is available, we look at the size and we um, can pick up more than just one box. So um, if we uh, modify this later on, uh, we can increase it to the Y dimension and get a much more accurate um, count. And um, the last piece of the software is just simply the loop. So we call check AI box and the car count display update. So it's quite a, a simple piece of software. And um, what we uh, might do, you can see on the bottom that we're getting the car count. So we're actually stuck at the moment on 88. But uh, we might actually put some images on the uh, camera and do some counting just to show you what that looks like. So uh, I'm going to start up with some traffic counts and uh, we'll see if we can actually get that going. So the, this is our uh, software. We might move that across. So let's count cars. And I'm going to go through a uh, algorithm that looks at how I'm doing this with um, AI. So um, previously, um, in STEM education, kids could count cars and graph them. In a way, um, it's not much different from what we do using some electronics and a, a loop detector on the road. So uh, on the um, right, we've got um, a loop with um, magnetic induction. Uh, so when a metal car goes across the loop, it counts that um, as one vehicle. And um, I have a project on... Uh, Seed Studio, where you can actually um, look at a uh, device like this and uh, do some of your own traffic counting. Okay, so uh, what we're doing, if we have a loop, which is the blue box on the left, it has a uh, X, Y, a W for the width, and a H for the height. The X and Y are the positions within the image. And uh, so the coordinates for X and Y that I'm interested in 
are the loop X minimum and the loop X maximum. I'm only going to do this in one dimension, but um, I could um, uh, do it in both X and Y to give a loop Y min and a loop Y max. Okay, so uh, counting happens when we have a transition uh, outside of the box to inside of the loop, uh, then back out again. So um, when the loop is occupied, um, it then looks for the transition to when it is not occupied. And that transition uh, allows the car to be counted. So the algorithm is that um, we're going to uh, look at when the car begins, it's going to use one of the bounding boxes uh, from our inference. And the I means that we've... Uh, have a number of boxes and we'll just go through those boxes one at a time and the um, end of the car we just add to the beginning the width which is w here uh, to our um, size so we're really just comparing sizes and making sure that the car is within the uh, the loop Okay, so uh, the ones that are not counted, if it's not inside the box, it's not counted. And if it's um, outside of the box, uh, like in the last one, the loop is vacant, uh, it is also not counted. And uh, a typical image would be like this one. So um, the uh, algorithm we're using resizes the pictures like this, which might be, um, say, uh, one, nine... Uh, 2 by say about a thousand and it resizes that uh, with a width of 960 and a height of 544 so my typical um, uh, loop will be this one uh, and I've got a, um, a location at 20 and a distance across at 200 now in this um, first version I'm only doing X. So really any car on a longer horizontal strip will be counted in this um, traffic counter. This is the car traffic counter and it's using a ESP computer in the format of a um, Shoal computer and it's um, hosted on a uh, shell expansion board with four ports. Two of those up here are for the uh, I to C, and uh, one of those goes over to the um, Grove Vision AI version two, which is connected via ribbon cable to a, a Raspberry Pi camera. And um, the car count is going to be shown on the um, Ollie display over here. So uh, what we're going to do is um, point the camera to traffic and see if it increases the count. At the moment it's 39 and what we'll do is get hold of the uh, camera and we'll point it to images of traffic and see what happens. So uh, we're pointing at the moment and uh, you can see it's beginning to um, increase. But let's have a look at some of the other scenes that I've taken from the uh, internet as uh, for testing our traffic counter. So uh, here's the first one. Well, we've seen that already. And uh, some of the other ones, I want to see if it can actually count the number of cars at a particular uh, location where my loop is, or my virtual loop, where it's placed. So uh, most of these are American scenes, but we do have some local scenes and here we've got one in Sydney, and uh, we have other ones in uh, New South Wales. And here's one just out, not very far from um, where I live. It's on the M7 at um, Glenwood, which was taken uh, at uh, noon today um, from the current position. Okay, so uh, we're going to uh, see if there's any change to our um, count. So we go back to the uh, serial monitor on Arduino and you can see here that we've picked up um, some boxes, box zero, its location, and um, 
you can see that the traffic count is um, here is accent. It, yeah, it is going up. So you can see as I move across, I'm increasing uh, the uh, traffic count. So we've gone up from 88 to 109. So just continuing, uh, overall we've um, achieved a, a result which is not complete because we've um, only got one dimension for our traffic loop. We need to improve on that. But we have used the smart camera to identify box, uh, cars inside the loop. And we've used the uh, car count is displayed on the OLLI display. Okay, so um, um, in the future, we could um, uh, make that much more accurate. And we could also use multiple loops and uh, compare it with a induction loop project. Okay, so for some of the references, have a look at the uh, traffic cam net model. Uh, that's really the basis where the original uh, model was developed uh, on. And in Seed Studio, you can have a look at the um, uh, Grow Vision. Uh, I'm using additional commands in the Arduino IDE. And um, that's it for this project. Now, the image here uh, is resized uh, to a width of 960 by a height of 544 and my loop box size is um, 20 uh, by um, 100 and um, I've got various images and what we're going to do is um, see if we can count the traffic as we go so um, here's one image of traffic and we might actually uh, look at other ones we'll get the camera now and uh, see if we can see some more traffic and uh, what it's going to do is increase the count uh, as it sees more traffic so it's seeing more traffic at the moment as I move across and we might go for another image <laughs> 